What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now, some of you who are subscribed to me may have realized that I've not posted in a while. I'm sorry. I have been incredibly busy. I've moved into a new house, moved out of the apartment, and work, this, that, and the other. Life just happens, I haven't posted. That's my apologies. Now, there has been very specifically one thing that a few people have asked me to do, which is a review on the two-piece rotors that I bought from Z1 Motorsports. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Now, before we get any further into, the, into this video, I should probably go ahead and just state right here in the beginning, I am in no way sponsored by Z1 to review these. Uh, they didn't give these to me. I bought these two-piece rotors with my own money. I installed them with my own intentions of just running them, seeing how I like them, and that's it. So, with that out of the way, moving right into it, the Z1 Motorsports two-piece rotors. What do I think about them? Well, I think they're great, honestly. I, in, shoot, maybe a year, longer than a year, I don't know. I wanna say it's been over a year since I've had them. I really enjoy them. They do hold up to what the website claims as far as making the car feel more nimble, greater stopping power, this, that, and the other. I truly felt it from the moment I installed it, got put all back together, went out to the road, went to uh, bed the brakes in, and oh my freaking gosh, um, <laughs> like, it's incredible. What was more surprising to me personally was indeed the fact of because these two-piece rotors are lighter than the stock rotors, they, you know, you get that much unsprung mass or whatever the terminology is, you, you get rid of weight in all four corners of the vehicle. And that was immediately noticeable. So like, even if you want, because stopping wise, the car stops pretty well. Like, obviously I have the Infiniti G37 Coupe and with the stock rotors, it stops really well. Now, granted my car came with the uh, upgraded brake rotor. So I have four pots in the front, two pots in the back. It stopped really well. Now putting the new rotors on, it stops even better. But the biggest thing I noticed was the fact of when I would go to turn, like the car, goes in that direction. There is no like sluggishness, I guess is the word to you. If if you are interested in getting this two-piece rotor, I personally highly recommend it. Um, there, I'm sure there is a custom Willwood set that you could get. I'm sure that there's a custom whatever other brand name it out there. I'm sure there are other rotors and things out there um, but honestly, for the money, Z1 Motorsports, like, kind of, kind of has a good deal. Now, I've not replaced the rotor itself. Like, you keep the way it works, obviously, it's two pieces, and so you'll keep the hat, and then you just buy the replacement rotor piece. So I've not done that, so it could be a total pain in the butt to replace those, and then whatever but I'll make a video on that whenever that time comes. But for now, I truly have enjoyed everything about it. I don't have anything negative to say. Uh, customer service is super good over there. Every time I call, whether it's about this specific thing that I did, or if I have any other questions about other um, projects I'm thinking about, I'll call them, I'll ask them. They're super nice, they answer my questions. Even though I feel like I'm a waste of their time, they don't make me feel like I'm a waste of their time. Does that make sense? Well, as a company, highly recommend them. Overall, I really, really enjoy these rotors and I have nothing bad to say about them. And so if I come across anything, I'll make an edit in the comment section below. And that's it, that's my review. Super short, super simple. I have nothing else that I really need to say. If you have a question on anything, obviously feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And if you have any thoughts or anything like that as far as videos that you want me to do, leave those in the comments below. And 
honestly, until next time, which I promise won't be over a year from now, uh, I'll see you there. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like, kind of gets these videos going and the goal is 100 subscribers and we're almost there because I think we're at 71. So yeah. All right, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you. Have a good one.